All right, this arena run shows off the catfish cow combo. It's an interesting combo. The catfish activates the buy ability of the friend ahead at the start of the turn for one gold. And so you get two free milks in the shop at the start of the turn. So solid plus two plus four. And if you want to, you can add in the cats or you could level up the cows and start getting just absolutely insane stats from it. And it's pretty fun. Just something that you really don't see because uh, it's only in custom packs, I guess. And uh, it's pretty good scaling. It does make it so your stats are pretty uneven. You're going to get twice as much HP as health. But, I mean, I guess in some uh, pets that's actually a good thing for like Highland Cow and stuff that have its ability related to health. Or actually what I use in this run is the Sabertooth. Just because you don't really get to see the Sabertooth a lot. It's not really a great unit, but occasionally can definitely help out. And like the spawns can either pop maybe a pepper or melon or something. Or it can just be really good against like a summon build. And, I mean, overall, just like summoning a 24-24, that's not too bad if it actually manages to live. But yeah, um, kind of just standard start stuff. Trying to drag out the rounds, trying to get the swans for some extra gold. Got the spider pill for early cappy. I feel like spider pill is actually just super good in customs when you know that everything in your pack is pretty much good. So, like, no matter what you get out of the spider pill, it's going to be pretty helpful. And you only have to spend four gold for the tier up instead of, like, I guess it would be nine gold otherwise. But yeah, um, so I guess a small update on the team tournaments that I have been doing. It's still, like, it's a long forum tournament. It's taking place over seven weeks or whatever. Our team, unfortunately, not doing so hot. We started out one and two, and then the next week, um, unfortunately, what happened is that the players just didn't play. Like, Jeet versus Rekwar just never happened. So it was just awarded a loss for both teams because I guess they wanted to, like, punish the people and, and make sure this doesn't happen again in the future because there hasn't really been any precedent for this like this actually hasn't happened before where they just like don't play so uh yeah and now we are one in three in order to make the playoffs you usually have to go four and three and um so we have to win out it's not looking great for our team maybe we could pull it off who really knows um but yeah it, the team tournament's fun definitely recommend joining it if you are into like competitive sap at all because like you get to play against people who are around your level because you match up uh usually relative to your seed also you can like get coached by people so if you want to improve at the game and also it's just like a team thing which makes it a little bit more fun so overall fun tournament but uh i wish it would be more fun if we didn't lose if uh if our team was a bit better <laughs> but i mean we were really close like our tiebreakers or our games are actually really good like we've won over 50 percent of our games Yet we're like one in three, so it just it's unfortunate how it's kind of worked out. So yeah, I mean, still not out of it. Who knows what'll happen? As for the actual run, going for both Weasel and Swan, going for like the super gold build, and um, yeah, Banana Pill is gonna be a classic thing. Actually, I should not banana the Anteater because I kind of forgot. But when you pill an Anteater, obviously you get the two ants and they spawn before the monkeys. The monkey is the last thing to spawn when you have a faint ability, which means you're going to have to have a lot of things. Uh, you're going to have to run a three squad or a two squad in order to actually get the monkey out of this pill. So yeah, in the future, uh, don't do that. I guess I'm talking to myself, but also to the people, I guess, who are trying to learn, maybe? I don't know. I never know if, like, I, when I explain things, if people are like, yeah, I already know that, or if it's, like, actually helpful. I guess it probably just depends on the person, but yeah, double squirrel, super good, so definitely gonna go for that, and maybe it'd be worth it to just, like, take another banana pill. Like, you can, uh, I maybe should have gone for a banana pill on, uh, the weasel, because you actually do get the gold the next turn when you do that, so not really a terrible pill target, and... I guess it's nice to just have the gold every turn, though. Early alpaca. Okay, I do actually end up pilling the weasel. So two gold next turn, plus I get the stats on the muskox. It's always nice just to be able to, like, gain some extra stats for free. And blobfish pill would be a great thing for muskox, muskox as well. But I think the priority here is to just get level 2 um, alpaca, because obviously that's so OP. And yeah, just gonna probably finish with the Blue Ring Docto for some scaling. Not really the strongest team. Sometimes this happens when you kind of greed for like a gold build. Like I'll get a ton of gold, but then I just lose because my units suck. Or I just like spent all my gold uh, trying to get the things that I want instead of actually scaling at all. Uh, but probably the best thing is just Blobfish. Like banana on Blobfish is just perfect. And then you can pill that. That is 
probably the ideal situation, but there we go. Level 2 Alpaca. And that was, it was great not to lose that round, because now should be able to get a pretty good team. There's instant level 2 Sabretooth. Uh, now I just need some scaling. Um, yeah, Blobfish, Crow, anything pretty much with level 2 Alpaca is going to be really good. I guess level 2 like Owl could also be good. Okay, just take the Blobfish. Not going to get level 3 yet, but one more experience. And... Maybe it's best to put the Blobfish in front of the Muskox. I kind of forget which actually goes first. I think it probably depends on the attack, doesn't it? But yeah. And then Sabretooth more towards the back to hopefully actually get a trigger. And 16-16, that is going to do it. I guess I fought William Shakespeare there. Wow. Incredible stuff. Um, yeah, going for the level 3 Alpaca. I could get a Turtle here, instant level 2 Turtle. That might have been worth it, but... I do want to look for the cows and the catfish and the ca uh, the cats, everything. There is a chicken leg. That is going to be a solid just 9-9. Nine, nine. It's crazy how fast you can scale with just like this one cat alpaca because obviously level 2 cat is so insane. You get so many stats and this cow also plus 6 plus 12. Oh my god. Almost like from base stats to like 50-50 and one turn from the saber tooth. Pretty crazy. I mean, like, this is a situation where you're probably going to reach the stat cap really quickly, and then you probably will just, like, I don't know, have nothing left to do. But another cat sounds good, so in order to have room for it, I guess I am selling the muskox, even though it's my best unit. And then a can to open up another tier 6, I guess. Highland Cow probably is a great option here. And level 2 Catfish does not work with Cow, unfortunately. So this is maybe a reason to not do this strat. Instead, go for, like, Blue Ring Docto or Cockatoo or uh, whatever. Are those the only two buy abilities, actually? I'm not really sure. But, yeah. Um, I don't know if it actually wastes the gold. I probably should see. We'll find out next turn. But usually, level 2 Catfish costs 2 gold. Let's see if I start with enough gold next turn. It will be good to know. I should have been paying attention to this. And of course the peanut one-shots the Sabertooth. And oh my god, just terrible breakpoints there. Or terrible positioning. And it does cost two gold. So it's actually a, just a straight a bad thing to have level two catfish here. I don't know why. I guess I just wanted to find out. But yeah, not a good idea. Don't do what I do. Another Sabertooth, why not? I think if you want to win, definitely should take uh, the Highland Cow there. Highland Cow is just such a nice buff target, because pretty much, like, if you have it at level 2, you get double the stats anytime you buff it. Like, you get it to 50 HP and you spawn another 50-50. That is just a huge value off of buffing one target. But look at that. Beautiful Sabertooth action. Level 3 Sabertooth and level 3 Cat. Should be able to get this guy to 50-52. And, yeah, this is going to be a 8-16 again one turn my god 1632 on one turn for what should have only been one gold but um i guess i could sell the catfish and just like replace it with the level one i don't know if that's not really worth it but uh positioning here just make sure saber tooth's not in front i do need equipment i should take like a lemon so that they are guaranteed to not get one shot unless if it's a scorpion um or a melon but i guess i hadn't found either of those yet and look at that, beautiful Sabretooth action. Another cow. Yeah, I could go for a level 3 cow. I mean, it's probably not necessary since I'm going to hit like 50-50 since I'm getting almost there in like one turn. Another cow, why not? And one more. One away from a level 3 cow, which would like... How many stats would that give? I don't even know. Does it go up to... Um... You know, yeah, don't worry about it. I'm sure, like, it doesn't matter. It's too many stats anyway. I'm hitting, like, 50 health pretty much instantly. So, not a lot to do here. And then just hopefully win, even though I have zero equipment on this team. And it does do it. Winning with two Sabertooths on the team. Really weird team, and I, I, I don't know, it worked. I guess showing off the power of the Catfish Cow Strat. Thanks for watching. See ya.